Good morning guys and girls, thank you for watching ASFN and it's the 3rd of June 2022 and this is your sardine update for this week. Um, make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit the bell notification button so that every time we go live you will receive a notification. Now the sea has been monstrous literally <laughs> for the last since uh, Sunday, it's now Friday and uh, there's been huge waves crashing we also still have the very dirty water from all the rains the combination of those push the smaller shoals a bit further offshore um, several smaller shoals has been spotted even uh, rumors yesterday of uh, Margate smaller shoals in front of off Margate um, the smaller shoals of uh, Wild Coast, just the northern part of Wild Coast Casino, literally Casino Beach. And then with bigger activity going when, when you reach Port St. John's, there's bigger activity around there. Probably your best bet if you want some sardine action right now is to go this week into Port St. John's, Punskop area, where there's still a lot of dirty water as well going out of the estuary at uh, Port St. John's. But if you drive up uh, north towards Punskop in those areas, you could find some really good action there. Earlier this week, Jason Pillow, thank you for the update. Monday, I think it was already, he sent me some videos of very, very big shoals coming rather close at Mazeppa and moving past as far as I could see to the uh, northern side and to the southern side of Mazeppa Bay, which seems to be the bigger or the main shoals of the sardines already. Um, that is not too far from, from Kayserin, but like we all know over the years, the weather does play a role. And uh, last year already, I mean, we three days, almost four days passed when we saw the first pockets being netted last year at Port Edward, uh, where Job got the first net around them. So it's already the 3rd of June. We almost four days passed that already, and that's all weather. So as soon as this weather turns right, we'll definitely see those little silver bellies everywhere. I haven't even jumped in the car to go take a look because with this big sea we know and the dirty water we know it's not uh, it's not gonna have we're not gonna have big action yet but it's definitely around the corner just to give you guys a bit of an update here and there where the sea is uh, fishable the guys were getting some bronze bremi on the south coast some cob the smaller shoaling cob two and a half three kilos and uh, I know about one very big GT that was caught at Banana Beach. They, they never measured it. But an elderly gentleman had an hour and a 20 minutes fight on that fish. Well done on that. I didn't get his name or a photo, unfortunately. I would have loved to show you guys. But um, yeah, there's a lot of action lying right in front of us. Uh, within the next few days, we could start seeing some action. Hoping the water will clear up a bit. The sea was supposed to settle on Wednesday a bit and then pick up again towards uh, today but it went right through right through the night you can hear these waves crashing and crashing it actually wakes you up so it's really a big sea so far and uh, uh, one of the reasons we haven't seen a lot of action yet there's still the shoals of uh, red eyes and mackerel coming past and some guys get very excited about those but that's all normal that happens just before the sardines so make sure you subscribe make sure you hit the bell notification button and uh, we'll keep you up to date as soon as that action starts we'll put out live videos so you can immediately know about it um, guys from a prediction point of view I can't say definite but if you want to take a drive down this weekend I mean you've got the time off to go down to Port Edward side the further lower south part maybe there's some action maybe you can see something there um, even as far down as Wild Coast Sun and for those who can go to Port St. John's um, remember if you need a place to stay there Spotted Grunter, Vernon, give him a call uh, some of the best accommodation I've used down there and you can spend some time down there and you'll definitely see some action there's already a lot of action there and has been reported but thank you guys for watching and yes thank you very much our channel has gone over 40,000 subscribers about a week ago and thank you for everyone that's supporting our channel have a great one